Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, March 24th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got another one of Brad's traffic analysis quizzes out, and in this quiz, you get to figure out what's the effect that Windows host and user account. As usual, Brad provides you with the packet capture and a couple of hints. So have fun and take a look and see if you can figure out what's going on. And we also got from Lance Spitzner, uh, the SAN Security Awareness uh, Report. It's actually the sixth annual report he published, and this uh, year's headline is Managing Human Risk. Of course, in this podcast and at the Internet Storms and in general, we always focus a little bit more on the technical issues and how to prevent people from clicking on malicious links and download the malware that uh, Pratt makes you analyze. Uh, but of course, Yes, uh, the human side is important. And if you're interested in that, uh, take a look at Lance's blog and the associated report. And jumping from this is something very technical with a very human impact. And that's RFC 8996. It was published uh, today or uh, this week and officially deprecates TLS 1.0 and 1.1. Now you may say, Hey, uh, we aren't supposed to use TLS 1.0 and 1.1 for a while now. So why is uh, this RFC being released now? What this really means is that uh, this essentially Essentially, it gives uh, software makers permission to completely remove TLS 1.0 and 1.1 from their libraries. So you won't even be able to configure it anymore. While at this point, you may still be able to use it. Uh, you just have to specifically enable uh, these older versions of TLS. The human side of this is that it may not always lead to more secure networks uh, to remove these old protocols because for some organizations that do for whatever reason, I suspect some IoT device and such still use TLS 1.0 and 1.1. The only alternative may now be to use clear text protocols without any form of TLS. So take this as your final warning. Uh, try to get rid of those devices uh, because future operating systems and even updates to operating systems may remove uh, those protocols. And if you still need to connect uh, to devices that only support these old protocols, you may be out of luck. So best uh, to update those devices, maybe via the trash bin before uh, this happens. And of course, one group of devices that may be affected here that doesn't support some of these newer encryption algorithms and TLS versions is industrial control systems. And we got a new advisory from the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, noting vulnerabilities in the GEUR family of devices. And one of the vulnerabilities being pointed out here is the use of HTTP versus HTTPS. But it's only one of a number of different vulnerabilities. There are also the typical hard-coded credentials and the insecure firmware update, a session fixation, and a few others. And GE does offer updates for affected protection and control relays. We also got updates for more mainstream software. Firefox and Thunderbird received updates with also various security updates. And Microsoft Security Intelligence tweeted that uh, they are tracking a phishing campaign that appears to be a rather successful. This phishing campaign is going after Office 365 credentials, which is why it sort of showed up on Microsoft's radar. But what makes uh, the phishing campaign so successful is the use of legitimate services. For example, they're using compromised sent and mailgun accounts 
and they then host uh, their uh, phishing links in AppSpot. Uh, many of these uh, phishing emails are trying to trick the user into entering credentials by presenting them with an invite uh, to a Zoom meeting. And of course, the reason why these uh, Zoom emails are so successful is that most of us are still working from home and heavily relying on uh, these video conferencing services. Now, if you were lucky enough uh, to get your vaccine yet, please do not post your vaccination card on social media. It does contain some personal information and apparently the bad guys are harvesting this information. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.